right guys, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you an in-house training we did with our own guys on how to lay out and form the pocket fold. In this video, we're only going to focus on the layout and some paper folding techniques, but that's okay. You can transfer that right to your material at home. But pay attention to some of my teachings in the video. It's going to make things go a little bit smoother. And uh, let's get into the video. Our end wall. So water's running this way. So basically, it's half of the pitch panel and half of the wall. Yeah, like this is okay. So good. Yeah, that, that's a good way to put it. So this would be the seam, right? So that returns up the the wall. Yeah. And that's that's the side wall. So we're doing. Um, the reason why I'm going into so much detail here in regards to the orientation of the piece is proper planning does prevent poor performance, as the saying goes. Hence, the reason why I'm going into so much detail here is to ensure that I get exactly what I want in the end like the, bisecting the first time. Easy, but like, what lines are we bisecting? That's a 512. each of the half inches as if they were an inch so we're scaling it back follow me on this one four five six I'm drawing in my side wall okay. so this is the flat piece of metal why don't you uh, label it so for, uh, uh, so you can do side, yeah. For anyone watching on a replay, side wall, top wall. All right, I want you guys to pay close attention to this part of the video. I'm trying to explain how to visualize this detail on your head so moving forward, you'll really be able to perform this detail with ease. Once it's making sense in here, you can actually apply this detail to multiple situations with ease. So make sure to pay attention, drop a like if you're getting value, and remember to subscribe to the channel not to miss any further videos. Let's get back to the explanation. Keeping in mind that this is 90 still, this flap here is gonna have that 512 on it. It's like the opposite, so it's like if your slope's 512 and your sidewall is 90, you need, to draw your, you need to draw your angle, your slope angle on the sidewall. It's like reverse. So in this situation, if you were to if you were to do 90 degrees and this were to come up to 512, that's where it would be lining up on that line. Is, does that make sense? That makes sense. Now that I, I've, so that is just to, for placement of your roof pitch line. Okay, one thing that needs to be brought to the forefront of your mind when using paper details is that it helps you visualize not just the bends, but how the detail is formed, what directions the bends need to go, and so on. So practicing with paper is completely doable. Going to the actual fabrication on the metal is a completely different story. We can get to that in a later video, but really just pick a detail, do it on paper, and it really helps. It's really helped me, for sure. So now that now that it's in the... Because, like, you can put it there, you can put it there, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, the placement of it is very important, and to understand where the placement comes from is very helpful. I know when I'm trying to visualize this, this is what I'm trying to make it make sense in my head, you know? So once I have the placement of that line here, what we're bisecting now is this, these two lines, this and those will bisect. So now it's just, you guys know, you guys know this part, bisecting. So we're gonna, Okay, so what you are seeing here, to simplify it, we're basically bisecting the difference between 
the nice thing your about your side paper wall angle and your top wall we can kind of slope push change hard on the pen angle. A bit. That's really all that's going on here, but pay close attention and uh, we'll get into it a little bit deeper. Bend point, where it needs to bend. Oh, okay. I describe them all facing up, doesn't really matter. Okay, one little hack when you're at your desk or whatever, you have a piece of paper and a pen. When you're practicing these details with paper, you can take your pen and that ruler and really scribe down hard on those bend lines. And it'll actually create some memory in that paper. So it can make it easier to fold. Just a quick little hack for you. How about this? I just did it. But... See how the, the the bisecting of that line. Gotta match these lines together. So those them. lines will now come up on the third dimension. Yeah. When I was doing this, I didn't know where what when you drew out the lines on the paper over there. Yeah, come on. So you know, these lines. My side wall, this is the top wall. When I did it with my first time, I drew my angle line, my roof line, on the top wall. Right. Which I learned was backward. I have to draw my angle on my 90 line, mm -hmm. not my angled line. Angle to angle isn't right. Right. All right, so you guys want to do it on the paper? And... I like to uh... Don't be shy. Get in there. Are you following along? One more rulers? I got more rulers. All right, just a little quick tip. Mark your bending lines as uh, either an in-bend or an outward bend. It makes things a lot easier to visualize. It's kind of the, the theme we're getting across here is to help visualize these bends in your mind. Just a little quick tip. You can do, sorry, you can do any angle you want, mm -hmm. but go ahead and use that. It's a good practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny to see <laughs> these metal roofers here <laughs> playing with origami. Yeah. Oh, look at yours. Look at, see? Where's look at, oh, start? nice. Good job, yeah, buddy. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You want this one on the pitch? You gotta put it on. It took me a while. Okay. okay. So it's wise to put some markings in. Yeah. Okay. And you can even put. Angle. Your wall's on a 90. You want your top. To do, you want these to, to meet each other, so you need to put the angle from the top on your wall. Okay, so, hey, Tim, tell everyone what you did there. Just tell me. So, this one was top wall, side wall. So, it's, this is going to have my slope. This is going to finish with the slope. This is going to finish at 90 degrees on the side wall. So, I did that one. All right, our in-house guy is doing something a little bit different here. He incorporates the same principles, but he's sloping two sides rather than a sloped side going into a 90-degree corner. He's actually doing uh, two 512 planes and then a pocket folding in the corner. So let's watch him do it. One side being 90 degrees and one side yeah. being... Yeah. You're doing a double, like a five, double five. So for sakes of doing it, I went over an inch, marked it, went over an inch, marked it. So those are my bend lines. So these two po these two turns are going to be outward, which is going to create an inward pocket or like it's going to inward crease. Uh -huh. And then, so yeah, I made my bisecting line here. So, so I got my lines. These are... This way, going yeah. this way, creating yeah. well, pocket like this, so I have to turn the metal that way. So when I come up, stuff? but yeah, the math behind finding the right angle. Is I like gotta you pitch it a little bit better at the bottom, but you get the idea. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Okay, so then now let's see kind of the finished product on the other side. It would be sitting more rather rather than this. It'd be more like this. And then in this one, it's kind of just go with where the metal will turn when you create the dog here because it's going to be an even corner. So this is where your tools come in handy. You can keep these corners tighter. Oh yeah, like that. Which there. which helps 
finish this guy. That it comes, that piece comes above that down. You don't have to cut it off, or you could fold it down and lock it, or you could fold it down and cut it off, so no water gets trapped in the pockets. It'd be a, a completely waterproof joint. No, not you guys, I'd like no to not thank you guys for watching. We do a ton of how-to videos, how to double fold, and how to just be a better metal worker all around. Uh, I'll post a couple videos that you should watch next up somewhere around here and uh, thanks for watching.